Hello movie lovers and welcome to CML Data Movie Review, home of independent films. This has just been a hell of a night. This day has not been going too well. <laughs> I'm not giving about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fucks right now. And we're about to talk about this movie. Abby Grace is starting shit. People opening up boxes. And Cujo's back. Oh. Abby Grace. Before I start this review, I'd like to give a shout out to Tiffany H. Because she was the one that recommended this damn movie. Not knowing what I was going to get myself into, I just happened to just watch the shit. And we're about to get into the shit. <laughs> <laughs> the movie was written and um, well, it was written by uh, David Dillinger and Stephen Dorham. And also directed by Stephen Dorham. Uh, the movie starts off pretty fucked up. You see these two little young ladies running. Another one of those Hallmark moments. You know, everything's so beautiful. Everybody's outside like, <laughs> you know, everybody's <laughs> running. Kids having fun, and then this one girl leg just happens to slip into this hole. So she ends up pulling her shoe out, and then she dug in a hole and grabbed a box. She opened the box, and next thing you knew, the damn girl killed the friend that was running next to her during that Hallmark moment. Yeah, she ended up with a pair of scissors in her damn chest. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fucked up again. And a mother walks in the room, and she's taking a finger and rubbing on the girl's blood and just painting like, she said, Today's supposed to be my day. <laughs> I'd be like, you little bitch, you better get your ass up out of that chair, you know. But and then, and then but, but it wasn't went like that because you know, you know, social services, you know, all that shit. When you know, people would not understand because they don't believe in spirits. So y'all know how that happened. You know what I'm saying? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, so later on, uh, you see Stephanie. I think please say her name right. Please, I hope I had her name right. No, Stacy. You see Stacy, and you know she's home. She's she she gave up a lot, you know, because her mom died. Her her and um, um Ben, her and Ben mom died. So Stacy Stacy, you know, gave up everything to go take care of Ben. And Ben have a bit of a he had phobia, real OCD. bad phobia, and he had OCD. I mean, real bad. I mean, he would knock on the door, turn the knobs, knock on the door, turn the knobs, and Won't and, even and if something is not in place, he will go the fuck off. And he didn't leave the house in 25 No, he did not leave the house in, in 20, what, 20 what days? 25 years. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did I say 25? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, please don't be no mind. The man just could not leave the goddamn house, okay? He was scared because for 25 the mother. years. Because the mom really, like, you clearly see him. You know, he's a young man. You know, he's outside. He's enjoying life. He enjoys rubbing dirt in his goddamn face. What child don't? Shit, my child likes to mop her head on the floor every now and then too. But shit happens. You know, kids like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so the mom, she gets mad at the son. She's like, come on, you're dirty. So she takes him downstairs and she digs the rag. She puts the rag inside the um, bucket. And I mean, that bucket was hot as hell. Like you were doing Satan gave her that damn bucket. The bucket was smoking. I feel sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. laugh. But I feel sorry for the young man. You know, because she just took that hot ass rag and she rubbed it on. Like, nah, you're clean now, Ben. You're clean. I would be like, yeah, mom, come on. Shit's hot. Damn. <laughs> but, I, but later on when Ben gets older, I mean, Ben is all fucked up. Yeah, he Ain't been outside in 25 years. <laughs> Can you imagine how his pipe is right about now? <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up. So anyway, <laughs> um, the mom, um, no, Stacy, she's outside. She's outside with her dog, um, aka Cujo. Cause that dog, it's an awesome dog, and, and two, he flip his shit. And when Abby Gray start fucking with the dog, the dog start messing with Ben, and that was crazy. But once Stacy find the box and she started messing with the box and she took a jewelry, a piece of jewelry outside the box, that's when everything turned upside down. All right, just to make a long story short, the movie is okay. It's it's not. Don't go into this film thinking it's gonna be like one of those hard hitters because it's not scary. But I do like the story, but there it has its flaws. So it's not all that in the bag of chips. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's get into that. I give this movie a big ass what? The thing is, <laughs> if y'all not understand, if you don't understand what a big ass what is, because sometimes I have to break this down to my new subscribers, okay? When you see, I give this movie a big ass 
Why? That doesn't mean the movie is bad. That doesn't mean I gave the movie a bad rating. The movie is more so like effort. Like at least the movie gave, you know, it tried to be scary. You know, it tried to, it had effort. It gave effort. So I give it an effort rating because they, they get that E. Because they, they did real well. And it, and it, it was okay, but it, like I said, don't go into this film thinking this is a, a scary masterpiece because you're going to be highly disappointed. But go into the film with an open mind, and just enjoy it for what it is. At least the film knows what it is, so you now know now because I reviewed it, and that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think about Abby Grace because I told you what I thought about it. Fucking the movie will remind you of Cujo at one minute. The movie will go to Poltergeist the next minute, and then the movie turns into itself or Evil Dead. So it sort of tries. It sort of like it's like watching three levels of the film. But you know, if you want to check it out, you can check it out right now on Amazon. You can rent it. You can buy it. Love it. Support it. Y'all know how it is. Keep it scary, baby. And see all my movie lovers. I love you. <laughs>